Hello, welcome back little ones, welcome back family members, glad you all can make it back to another day for a beautiful story. Today is a day that the Lord has made, we are to rejoice and be glad in it, thank you Father God for another glorious day that you made, we are to rejoice and be glad in it, that we should, I hope you all having yourselves a blessed day, I don't know, when, it's kind of early so you're probably in school or what have you, but remember to have love in your hearts. Love for any and everyone. Tell your parents that you love them. Your family members, your friends, tell them about God, our Heavenly Father. Tell your friends about God. And I hope you guys are choosing good friends. If they're troublesome, you don't want that. You want to be good little boys and girls. God loves good children. Jesus loves the little children. I know. With that being said, we'll go right to the motto. My motto, that is. Today is Thanksgiving. For a day of thanksgiving, as is every day, we give God thanks in our work and play. Pull the shelter over our head, and even when we go to bed, at the start of a brand new day, first of all, we must give God praise. Yes, beautiful, let's say that again. Today is thanksgiving, or a day of thanksgiving, as is every day. We give God thanks in our work and play. Pull the shelter over our head, and even when we go to bed, at the start of a brand new day, first of all, we must give God praise. Amen and hallelujah. First thing, that, when I, my feet hit the floor, the first thing I say is, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I always say thank you because we're not promised today. When we wake up, we, we're blessed. Each and every one of us, we're blessed, truly blessed. And the Lord let us see another day. We got to write a, a day to get it right, to show love to one another, to set an example of what God is like, because God is love. You know, He gave His only begotten Son for us to have life, so we can show others love. You know, and remember to forgive. Have love in your hearts. Forgive. Somebody do something to you, forgive them. And if you make a mistake, we all make mistakes. I know I do. Just say you're sorry. You know, have love in your hearts. Love one another. Well, today is story number 145, The Wonderful Sunday. The Wonderful Sunday. When Jesus had died, his friends took his body down, wrapped it in clean sheets, and put it in the tomb, which had been cut into a rock. Then they rolled a heavy round stone in front of the opening of the tomb. Two soldiers kept watch to guard the tomb. Jesus' disciples and friends met again in the room in which they had eaten the Passover meal together. They were afraid. They locked the door and the windows, and they spoke in whispers. Would the enemies of Jesus come and kill them too? They were heartbroken because Jesus was no longer with them. They were all so very confused. Why had Jesus not saved himself? He could have. They didn't yet understand God's great plan. On Sunday morning, long before sunrise, the soldiers were still on guard outside the tomb. It was now the third day since Jesus had been crucified. Suddenly the earth began to rumble and shake, and the stone rolled away from the opening of the tomb. The soldiers got such a fright that they fell down, and then they jumped up and ran away. Some hours later, at first light, some women who knew Jesus well, they knew him very well, were on their way to visit the tomb. They wanted to wash and anoint his body. They were worried about the heavy stone. How would they move it away? They arrived and saw that the stone had been rolled away. One of the women, Mary Magdalene, ran off to tell the disciples. The others went closer and peeked into the tomb. An angel of the, of the Lord was sitting there. Do not be afraid, said the angel. Jesus isn't dead any longer. He is alive. He has risen from the dead. The women were astonished. It was wonderful to hear the angel say that Jesus was alive. They too turned round at once to go and tell the disciples. After they had left, Mary Magdalene returned to the empty tomb alone. She was crying. Jesus had gone, and she did not know where his body was. 
she heard a voice behind her say, Why are you crying? She did not know that it was Jesus. She turned round. Her eyes were full of tears and she couldn't see well. She thought it was the gardener. She said, Tell me where you have put him. Then Jesus said, Mary. Mary looked, and there stood Jesus. She knelt in front of him and said, My dear Lord. Jesus appeared to his disciples and his friends a few times on that wonderful Sunday, and again later. He wanted to show them that he had been dead, but was alive again. And he explained God's great plan to them. They began to understand that God, our Heavenly Father, loves all people so much that he sent his son Jesus, who died on the cross for us, to forgive our sins and to make us God's children. Because he died and rose again, we can be God's children forever. Amen. Hallelujah. See, God, God let um, Jesus die on the cross. He was God's only begotten son. And he was a gift to us because by him dying on the cross, we all were able to have life, you know. And so later on, I'll explain to you what Jesus truly inherited. He inherited, he inherited a serious, glorious body. And I'll explain that to you another time. But we're almost to the end of this book. But anyway... That's excitement. That's excitement in itself. So we'll get to that another time. Well, God's willing, tomorrow we go to story number 146, The First Messengers. I, I like the way the story ended. Jesus died, but he was risen three days later by God. Now I'll explain all that. But anyway, you all tell your loved ones about God, our Heavenly Father, and about Jesus, God's only begotten Son. And how he died and was risen three days later. Yes, well, he lives. And um, you all have yourself a blessed day. I love you all, the love of the Lord. With that being said, I'm going to go out with a fitting song. Jesus loves the little children because he does. God loves us all. But we have to be like little children to get into the kingdom of heaven. So God, God bless you all. I love you little ones. I love you family members. God bless you. You have yourself a blessed day. Jesus loves the little children, all the children of the world. Red, yellow, black, and white, they are precious in his eyes. Jesus loves the little children of the world. I have a joy like King Jesus. Joy like King Jesus, joy like King Jesus in my soul. I have the joy, 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 joy like King Jesus in my soul. Jesus loves the little children. All the children of the world, red, yellow, black, and white, they are precious in his eyes. Jesus loves the little children of the world. I have a joy like King Jesus, joy like King Jesus, joy like King Jesus in my soul. I have a joy, 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 joy like King Jesus in my soul. I sure hope you guys have the joy like King Jesus in your soul. You all have yourself a blessed, a very blessed day. God bless you. Bye, little ones. Bye, family members. I love you all. Bye-bye.